Hey designers, let's create a clickable image carousel in Figma. Instead of an infinite auto scroll, this one lets you click buttons to navigate through images with a cool page indicator at the bottom. This is a simple variation of a scrolling animation and all you can need to do is add some buttons and interactions. Let me show you how to get started by setting up the basic elements for this project. We'll be using some images inside a frame and adding two buttons and a page indicator. Now let's make this a component with different variants. First, select all the elements, the images, the buttons, and the page indicator, and click the Create Component button. Now, let's add a variant property. We're going to need three pages, so I'm adding three variants. For the second variant, just press Enter and move the images to the left until it sticks to the edge of the frame. This will become our second page. Now, let's set up the third variant. Just press Enter and align the images completely to the right. This will be the last page of our scroller. Once that's done, let's set up the page indicators. For the second state, we'll center align the page indicator to show we're on the second page. And for the third variant, we'll align the indicator to the right. With that, our pages and page indicators are all set up. Next, we'll set the interactions in the prototype tab. In the first variant, click the right button and drag a link to the next variant. The settings should be on click, change to, with smart animate and about 650 milliseconds. Now from the second variant, drag the right arrow to the third variant. Then from the third variant, drag the left arrow back to the second. And from the second variant, drag the left arrow back to the first variant. These simple connections will make our scroller interactive. Now for the final touch. When you're on the first page, there's nowhere to scroll left, right? So let's disable that button. In the first variant, select the left arrow and change its opacity to 20%. Now, when you're on the last page, there's no more content on the right. So we'll do the same thing. Select the right arrow on the third variant and set its opacity to 20% as well. Now, let's grab an instance of our component, paste it onto our frame and preview it. As you can see, the scroller and page indicator work perfectly. This is how you create a clickable scroller in Figma. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.